The Hawaii Surfing Association just announced its first ever all-star team as selected by coaches. The top high school boys and girls shortboarders, bodyboarders, and longboarders were honored. Joining us now are two of the honorees, Isla Sexton, a senior at Punahou, and Aqua Kasuya, a junior at Hawaii Baptist Academy. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. First off, how does it feel to just be honored as the surfers of the year? Uh, I think it feels really good to just be like the first person or like you know the first like two of us to be like the first all-star team and then I feel like it's just an honor because also has been running for a long time the high school too you know to be the first it's like a big step I guess yeah yeah definitely trailblazers I love for you how does it feel um, I'm really honored and I'm so excited that HSA is taking the ne next step to recognize high school surfing yeah just on a a grand scale when you look at this is the first ever all-star team what do you think this means for the sport of surfing especially amongst the youth here in Hawaii um, I think it's just a great thing because you know surfing's been a long been here for just a long time and then to just be Hasa and just very nice to be on the great team and then just being around great people you know and then doing the competitions yeah. and for you Isla um, I think it would be so great if surfing was recognized as a high school sport because it would give more students the opportunity to enjoy surfing and it would give more surfers the opportunity to be a part of a team because that's not something that I've been able to experience before. Yeah, and that gets into my next question. Currently, surfing is a club sport at the high school level, but it is Hawaii sport, right? This is everything that Hawaii is is the sport of surfing. There's so much aloha represented within the sport. Uh, it's great to watch the WSL on TV, but it would be great to watch our high school athletes compete on stuff like OC16 like the other sports get. Uh, how important do you think it would be to have high school surfing be officially sanctioned sport of something like the HHSAA? Yeah, I think it would be great because if people watch it on TV, more people can know about surfing and then it will put more effort into the youth to be a part of a team, maybe a school, because Surf clubs, they're not really famous. And then, you know, just like volleyball and basketball, we want everyone to be a part of it and then to just be a part of a team because how it's so fun and interesting. And for you, I love, at Puno School, there's so many great teams, right? Mm -hmm. But to have the surfing team be, instead of a club sport, be a, a part of the actual sanctioned mm -hmm. sport, what would that mean to you? It would mean a lot. Um, I saw a lot of growth from my surf team over this year, and I'm so excited to see how they can still progress, as, especially if surfing can become a high school sport. Yeah, it's maybe my favorite sport to watch. I'm not a good surfer myself, but I love to watch it on, on TV and to, to watch it in person. It's just incredible. Now for you, Aqua, what's next in your surfing career? What do you want to do next? I think I just want to, because I've been surfing for maybe like over a decade, I just want to, you know, feel what my dad taught me and to just bring it to a next level because I've been doing just for a long time and just as I get older, I just want to do my best, become the best surfer, yeah. And for you, Isla, what's next? Um, well, I've been training for states this month for individual surfing, and I'm also training for ISA Worlds. Mm. That's also later this month. Yeah, we'll make sure to follow up on that. Obviously, always fun to watch the ISAs. Can't wait to follow you both in your surfing careers. Congratulations, surfers of the year, Aqua and Isla. Thank you so much for stopping by with us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Aloha.